So what you saw today uh, on, on the range uh, with, the, with the pistols uh, was a firearms instructor, Mike across uh, taking some of the skills that he learned at different shooting schools uh, and imparting that knowledge with uh, the troopers that are on the team. Uh, the system that we have right now currently is the uh, Remington 870 shotgun. It's, uh, it's this one right here. It is a, it's a pump shotgun. What I mean by that is that you know, we have to work the action every single time that we shoot to basically you know, put a round, chamber around into the weapon and then to eject a round. Uh, we have to do that manually. Okay? So now what we're looking at is a semi-automatic version. Basically the weapon system is more or less a machine. It takes care of all that, uh, all the work that we normally have to do. So semi-automatic, basically we point, put the front sight post on the target or on the, on the threat, squeeze the trigger, it does all the work for us. Uh, this is the newest from Benelli who makes a lot of shotguns for the military. Actually this one is currently overseas with the Marines. Uh, and now we want to see if it's going to work for us. This uh, Remington Model 700, which we utilize uh, as our primary sniper weapon, it's a 308 caliber. It can hold four in the in the uh, chamber here and one in the tube. It's one of the rounds here. This is the primary weapon system for the team. Everybody has an M4 system. Basically, it uh, it's the same type of weapon system that the uh, that the military is using right now overseas. Firearms or, or shooting is actually a small part of what SWAT does. Uh, usually when people see SWAT they think that they're coming in and uh, they're going to take somebody out uh, to, to end the mission. Uh, but usually when we go into operation uh, we use a lot of less lethal and tactics and training to avoid that lethal force situation. These here are uh, what they call sock rounds. A lot of people refer to them as beanbag rounds. But it, it, it's a less lethal round. They'll go down. They come out about 95 miles an hour. It's like a fastball in the major leagues. This here is the pepper ball system. By far, this is the best system we have to control crowds. And what it is, these are the rounds here. They look like gumballs. If you want to move back the crowd, you just fire like five, six, seven rounds at that person. Hit them right here in the chest, and, and that powder comes on, and it just rises up and they start coughing, hacking. It's almost like getting uh, maced. You see the, in the back here? Mm -hmm. That's just giving it a test to make sure it's working. And uh, these, are the car these are what the cartridges look like. So when it goes in, right here is your doors. These open up and, the, and, and there's two prongs that come out. There's a prong in, right in here and a prong in here. Mm -hmm. You want one prong up and one prong down here. So uh, that way it affects all the muscles they contract and, and down they go. What we have now is a gas delivery system in the tear gas. And we can put this needle on the end of this. This, and I'm not doing this properly, but this piece, you know, this would be on the inside of this after you take it apart. All right, this sits on top of the, uh, sits on top of the ram. And I mean, right how, how long is this? Three feet, wall. three feet long. We, we put through the door and there's so much gas in there that you, you can't, there's no fresh air coming in through a broken window. An entire canister and we're in here. of you know whatever riot Please control agent there. you want into that particular building. We have uh, pre-recorded annoying tones that come with this LRAD, and here is one of them. So I mean, you could. I mean, it's not even so much that you're hearing it at that point, but you're feeling it inside your ears. And if you wanted to uh, move somebody out of an area or deprive them of access to an area, that would do it. The team went down to Connecticut. Uh, they competed for three days, uh, individual competitions and team-wise uh, competitions, and they eventually came out of it on top. They won the won the competition this year.